Hello everyone, here in the section we have double integrals over general regions. Um, so on this part we have area, which is a of x. To calculate the volume of this solid, we integrate this area from uh, x equal to a to x equal to b. So this is our interval. It is a comma b. So here we have an integral of a of x with respect to x. This is from a to b, that is equal to, we have outer integral, which is from a to b. Here we have inner integral, which is from g1x to g2x of f of x, y, where we have dy dx. So for inner integral, it is with respect to y. For outer inner integral, this is with respect to x. Theorem, uh, for many theorem stronger form, so let f of x, y be continuous on this region R. So if R is defined by this interval for x, we have uh, between A, B inclusive. So we have a uh, closed interval. It is A comma B for what we have here. And y is between G1, x, and G2, x inclusive. But G1 and G2 uh, continuous on this closed interval, A comma B. Then here we have outer integral, then we have inner integral of f of x, y with respect to A. A is area that is equal to, again, here is outer and this is inner integral. And this is based on the intervals that we have for x and y. So for x, we have a comma b. And for y, we have g1 x comma g2 x. So this is what we have for um, starting and ending point. Of f of x, y, this one respect to y for inner and respect to x for outer integral. If R is defined by Y between C, D inclusive and X between H1, Y and H2, Y inclusive. With H1, H2 continuous on this interval, close interval that we had for Y, then here is what we have for double integral of F of X, Y with respect to A, that is equal to so for outer, which is respect to y, we had this um, closed interval from c to d. And what we had for x was based on this closed interval, which is h1y to h2y. And this is for this uh, function we have f of xy. So f of xy dx dy. Now here on this part we have presumably triangular base in the uh, xy plane. The volume of this prism is uh, defined as a double integral over R. So here we have with respect to Y and here is with respect to X. To be able to have a double integral. Now this is what we have for integration limits of this double integral. We have um, what we have for Y with respect to Y. Y is from 0 to X. So based on what we have here on this part. Um, we have this a vertical line, so this one here, and what we have between here is uh, this line, which is uh, y equal to 0, and this line, which is y equal to x. So we're going to use um, y between 0, x inclusive, so this is y equal to 0, and here y equal to x. And what do we have for outer limit, uh, which is uh, with respect to x, here is between, x is between 0, 1. So x from 0 to 1. And what we have here on this part, double integral. Here inner integral it is uh, with respect to x and outer it is dy. So this is based on what we have here on this part using horizontal line. So in this part, x is between, so using this line here, what we have between is this line and this line. 
So x is equal to y, and here is x equal to 1. So it is from x equal to y to x equal to 1, which is what they have here. And what we have for uh, dy, so our interval with respect to, uh, here in this case, it is y. We have from 0 to 1. Find your volume of the prism whose uh, base is the triangle in the xy plane, bounded by the x axis, and the lines y equal to x and x equal to 1, and whose uh, top line is in the plane. So z is equal to f of xy, and that is equal to 3 minus x minus 1. So this is what I'm going to use for uh, double integral here. Mm. Our interval for y it is from 0 to x, and what we have for x it is from 0 to 1 based on what we had here on this part. And we use this vertical line to find these intervals. So that's where we have double integral of 3 minus x minus y uh, dy dx. So what we have for y, this is our interval from 0 to x. So here we had y equal to 0. And here we have y equal to x, and what we have for outer interval, which is with respect to x, we had x equal to 0 um, to x equal to 1, so here we have 0 to 1. So first we're working on uh, inner interval, which is with respect to y. Here we have 3 minus x minus y, so into it. Um, here is 3 times y minus x times y minus here we have y power is 1. So 1 plus 1 power is 2 and then divide by 2. So I'm going to have y squared divided by 2 and this is from 0 to x. So y from 0 to y equal to x. And then writing this part dx. So this is equal to. Now oh, we're gonna use a uh, y equal to x. So here we have three times x minus x times x minus x squared over two, and then subtract what we have here is y equal to zero. So instead of y, now use zero. We have three times is zero minus x times zero minus 0 squared divided by 2. And this is equal to integral from 0 to 1 of 3x minus 3x squared divided by 2 dx. So this is equal to, here we have 3x, um, power is 1, so there's 1 plus 1. So there's 3x power now changing to 2 and then use that number divide by 2 minus here we have 3x squared so there's 3x power is 2 so it is 2 plus 1 that's 3 divided by use that number this number which is our power divide by 3 and here we have 2 so there's multiply by 2 and this is from 0 to 1 I'm going to simplify this part So we have 3x squared divided by 2 minus x cubed divided by 2, and this is from 0 to 1. So this is equal to instead of x, you use 1, and then 3 times 1 squared divided by 2 minus 1 cubed divided by 2. And then minus, uh, here we have 0, so x is 0, 3 times 0 squared divided by 2 minus 0 cubed divided by 2. So this part is 0, with a 0 minus 0. So here is 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2, which is equal to 2 over 2, and that is equal to 1. 
So we did it on this part of this double integral was for dy dx. Now we're going to find for dx dy. So when the order of integration is reversed, the integral for the volume is based on this double integral that we have here, based on these uh, uh, intervals. So here again, our function is 3 minus x minus y. And for inner integral, our limit is from y to 1. So x is equal to y, to x equal to 1. And for outer integral, which is with respect to y, y is equal to 0, um, to y equal to 1. So here, double integral for our volume, we have um, for inner integral, it is from y to 1. This is our integral. And for outer integral, our limit is y equal to 0 to y equal to 1. So well, this is our function, 3 minus x minus y. So first working on what we have for inner integral, which is with respect to x. So that is 3 times x minus, so what means uh, here I'm probably have 3 times x power it is 0. When we integrate, we're going to add 1. So our power will from 0 will change to 1 and then use that power divide by same number. So it is 3 over 1 which is 3 and then times x to the first power. So it is 3x. Then here on this part we have x, so power is 1, add 1, power will change to 2. So use that power, divide by same number. So there's x squared divided by 2. And then here is y, same as this part, so it is y times x um, to the power is 0. So we know that if power is 0, it doesn't matter what we have for base this part it is always equal to 1. So we have y times 1 or it is y times x power 0. So here add 1 and then divide by 1 so this is y times x. This is how we have this part. So here on this part first, I'm going to use x equal to 1. So here is 3 times 1 minus 1 squared divided by 2 minus uh, x is 1. So we have 1 times y. And then subtract what we have here on this part, x is equal to y. So there is 3 times y minus y squared divided by 2 minus y times y. So there is y squared. And then here for after integral, we have dy. So simplify. So here we have 5 over 2 minus, here is a negative 3y, and here we have negative y, so that is negative 4y, and here on this part, um, uh, multiply this negative, here we have positive, here we have positive, so this is positive y squared over 2, and a positive y squared, so adding these two, we have 3 over 2 y squared. Now integrate with respect to y, here we have y or 2 times y minus here is 4y so changing this power from 1 to 2 and then divide by same number so that's 4y squared divided by 2 plus here is 3 over 2 y squared so our power will change to y cube and then divide by same number that we have for our power so divide by 3 so here we have 3 over 2 y cube over 3 I'm going to simplify so here is 5 over 2 uh, times y minus 2y squared plus y cubed over 2 and y is from 0 to 1. So here we're going to use y equal to 1. That is 5 over 2 times 1 minus 2 times 1 squared plus 1 cubed over 2. And then we have um, 0 for y. So we're going to subtract this part y equal to 0 which is 5 over 2 times 0 minus 2 times 0 squared plus 0 cubed divided by 2. So that part it is 0. So this is equal to we have 5 over 2 times 1 minus 2 times 1 squared plus 1 cubed over 2. So I'm not going to write uh, y equal to 0, so because that part is 0. So here, simplify. 
this is equal to y over 2 minus 2 plus 1 over 2. So 5 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 6 over 2 and that is equal to 3 and then 3 minus 2 uh, this is equal to 1. Now here on the floor we have this uh, double integral of uh, 4x plus 2. So inner integral it is with respect to y and outer integral it is with respect to x. So here's what we have. For y we have this integral it is from x squared to 2x. So this is the line that we have for y equal to 2x. And here is what we have for y equal to x squared. So here, uh, inner integral is y with respect to y. So we have this vertical line. And this integral is starting from here up to here. So it's between these two. And what we have for this part, y is equal to x squared. And for this part, we have y equal to 2x. And for um, outer integral of our limit, which is based on what we have for x, it is from this point up to this point. So that's from 0 to 2. So based on what we had here on the sport, this is what we have for double integral. Inner integral it is with respect to y, outer with respect to x. So first working on what we have for y for inner integral. Um, this is for xy plus 2y and y is from x squared to 2x. And then use y equal to 2x here instead of y we have 4 times x times 2x, so that is 8x squared, plus 2 times y, it is 2x, so 2 times 2x, it is 4x, minus, now use what we have here on this part, y is x squared, so we have 4 times x times x squared, so that is 4x cubed, plus 2 times y, it is x squared, so it is 2 times x squared. And then here we have dx. So I simplified here on this part, we have uh, negative times 4x cubed, then negative times 2x squared, so this part, we have negative 2x squared plus 8x squared, so that is 6, 8, uh, 6x squared. And then add this part, which is 4x. Now, in general respect to x, here we have negative x to the fourth power plus 2 times x cubed plus 2x squared and this is from 0 to 2 so now instead of x use 2 we have negative 2 to the fourth power plus 2 times 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared so that is negative 16 plus 16 plus 8 so our answer for uh, this double integral it is equal to 8. Now find limits for integrating in a uh, reverse order. So here on the first part we have dy dx, now we're going to have dx dy. So instead of vertical, now we're going to use horizontal line based on what we have here. So this one and here this one. So we had, we had y equal to 2x. So using y equal to 2x, solving for x x it is equal to y over 2 so here on this part we have y over 2 and then um, for this part we had y equal to x squared so x it is equal to using radical x it is equal to square root of y so this is what we have here on this part so x is starting from y over 2, uh, moving to right, x is equal to square root of y. So this is our interval for this part. And then what we have for y is from 0 to, to this point, which is 4.
So here again, we have same answer for volume, and that is equal to 8. So um, first, working on what we have for inner integral, which is with respect to x. That says 2x squared plus 2x, and x is from y over 2 to um, square root of y. So I use the square root of y here instead of x, and then subtract, use uh, y over 2 instead of x. So we have 2 times y plus 2 times square root of y minus y square root of 2 plus y. And then working on what we have for uh, integral with respect to y. Here we have negative y squared divided by 2 plus y plus 2 times square root of y. And this is from 0 to 4, so integrate. Here we have, um, so adding 1, we have 2 plus 1 over power it is 3, then divide by 3. So here in the denominator we have 6, then plus, here our power is 1. So add 1, we have 2, and then divide by same number, it is 1 squared divided by 2, and then plus, here is 2 times square root of y, so that is 2 times y power is 1 over 2. So integrate, here we have uh, y power is 1 over 2 plus 1. And then divide by, so power is 3 over 2, divide by 3 over 2. So this is equal to, here is 2 over 1, multiply, after it is 2 times 2, it is 4, divided by inner, it is 1 times 3. And then here we have y power is 3 over 2. So this is what we have, it is 4 over 3 times y power 3 over 2. And this is from 0 to 4. So using um, y equal to 4, we have negative 4 cubed divided by 6 plus 4 squared divided by 2 plus well, 4 times 4 power and then 3 over 2 over 3. So this is what we have here. Simplify our answer it is equal to 8. Now here on this part we have properties of double integrals if f of x, y and g of x, y are continuous on the boundary region R, then the following properties hold. And number one, uh, here we have constant multiple, so we have double integral, um, c as a constant, it has any number, so c times f of x, y, uh, this is with respect to uh, area A, that is equal to, so move this constant, Outside of this integral, we have c times a double integral of f of x, y with respect to a. Now here we have sum and difference. So here is a double integral of f of x, y minus plus, we have minus g, g x, y, and we have plus uh, g, x, y. So we can put this like this. So here is f of x, y minus g of x, y with respect to a and the other one that we have here is double integral f of x, y plus g of x, y with respect to a. So here we combine these two while well, we writing uh, the subtraction and addition at the same time. So that is equal to the integral of the first function that we have. It is uh, f of x, y with respect to a. And then it depends on if you have sum or difference. Now writing the second part, it is double integral of g of x, y with respect to a. Now here we have domination. Double integral of f of x, y with respect to a greater than or equal to 0 if this function greater than or equal to 0 on region R. Now here, double integral of f of x, y with respect to a greater than or equal to double integral of g of x, y with respect to a if this function f of x, y greater than or equal to g of x, y on region R. So here we have greater than or equal to, here we have the same thing. Now here we have um, region R as the union of two non-overlapping regions, R1 and R2. So this double integral on uh, this region R, um, this is for f of x, y with respect to a, that is equal to double integral of f of x, y with respect to a. 
that this is for R1, region R1, and here is for R2. So adding, uh, when we have for second part, it is double integral of f of x by respect to a, and this is for region R2. Find the volume of which like solid that lies beneath the surface as equal to 16 minus x squared minus y squared and above the region R bounded by the curve y equal to 2 times x square root of x. The line y equal to 4x minus 2 and the x axis. So here we have double integral of 16 minus x squared minus y squared with respect to a. And based on what is given on this part, y is 2 times square root of x, and here is y uh, equal to 4x minus 2. So based on inner integral, which is with respect to x, here is solving what we have for x. This is square root of x is equal to y over 2, and then u second power. So x is equal to y squared over 4. So this is what we have here on this part. And then for this part, solving for x, we have 4x equal to y plus 2 divided by 4. So x is equal to y plus 2 over 4. And that is what we have here on this part. So using this horizontal line, this is uh, what we have for y equal to 2 times square root of x. And here is y equal to 4x minus 2. And so we solve for x. We had this part up to this point. So from here to here. And so that is for x. And what we have for y it is from um, 0 up to this point which is 2. So first I'm working on uh, what we have for inner integral. This is with respect to x. So here we have 16 minus x squared minus y squared with respect to x. Here is uh, integrate. We have 16, 16x minus x cubed over 3 minus x times y squared. And now use uh, what we have for x. So x equal to y plus 2 over 4, so use that one first instead of x. And here we have 16 times y plus 2 over 4, I simplify, so that is 4 times y plus 2. And then minus x cubed, so it is y plus 2 uh, cubed over 4 cubed, and then divide by 3. So we have y plus 2 cubed. And 4 cubed is 64, so we have 64 times 3 here in denominator. Minus x times, so x is y plus 2 over 4 times y squared. And then subtract, what we have here is uh, y squared divided by 4. So instead of x use um, y squared over 4, we have 16 times y squared divided by 4. Simplify, we have 4y squared. Then minus, here is x cubed over 3. So we have this one cube over 3. So this is equal to, we have these powers, so multiply. That is 2 times 3, that is 6 over 4 cube, it is 64, then divide by 3. So here is 1, we're going to multiply, alter, it is. 1 times uh, uh, y to the 6th power, so that is here. And the inner, it is 3 times 64. And then minus x times y squared, so x is y squared over 4. So we have y squared over 4 times y squared. So I'm working on this part. So that is equal to, we have y power it is uh, 2 plus 2, so that is 4, and here we have 4 times 1, so that is 4. So we have four, uh, y to the 4th power divided by 4. Then um, I simplify, so 4 times y, 
4 times 2, and then here we have um, cube or power is cube. So here is minus y cube um, plus 6y squared plus 12y plus 8. So for that part, I used this rule. So this is what I used uh, for this part. It is a uh, plus b cube. So use this rule uh, that we have here. So instead of a, we have y. Instead of b, it is 2. So we have y cube plus 3 times y squared times 2 plus 3 times y times 2 squared plus 2 cube. So our answer for that part is y cubed plus 6y squared plus 12y plus 8. And then here we have y squared times y, so it is y cubed, then y squared times 2, it is 2y squared. Then I uh, use distributed property, multiply does negative. And here, same thing, multiply negative. Then I simplify here. So we have like terms, uh, we should simplify. So this is what we have. We have all these uh, terms. And then we're going to work on integrate with respect to y. So this is what we have. And then this is from y equal to 0 to y equal to 2. So for all of these, we have y. So if I use y equal to 0, I'm going to have 0 for that part. So I use 2 instead of y. Uh, first, I simplify here. So these fractions, I simplify. So instead of, for example, the first one, 1528 divided by 192, I simplify. So that is 191 over 24. So instead of y, I use 2. And then I add it, subtract it. So here we have. On top we have uh, 20,803 divided by 1,680. I run it to, to this one place, so our answer is 12.38.